felt. I'm done with the defense. Throw back and cloud over your fence. Hide to show, show you that I was a man. Hey guys, I am so excited to share today's video because it is all about nesting. I'm finally at 34 weeks pregnant. 34 weeks with this little one and starting to get the kick in the butt to get things done and get things organized figured out basically i'm starting to nest finally i feel like with my last pregnancy i had already almost done like everything by this point so i'm a little slower to the game this time around but that's okay i'm also a mom to a toddler a two-year-old little girl named nova who keeps me plenty busy so Therefore, <laughs> we're late to the game, but that's okay. For as long as we get a few things done before this baby comes, I will be satisfied. So today's video is going to be all about organizing, nesting, washing uh, baby things, putting baby things away, basically doing all of the things that make you really realize that you are having a baby <laughs> and that a baby is coming. And I hope you enjoy coming along with me. Um, I'm gonna share just like how I'm doing things, um, different products that I might be using. Definitely check out the description box down below if you want to find any links, anything that I can put there, I will try to. And yeah, we're just gonna get started. As you saw, I already did a bunch of laundry. So I have in her, crib right here um a pile of laundry so i had bins and things already um in storage already organized kind of set apart from all of the clothes that we had with nova because we're having our second baby girl so we already pretty much have you know like everything that we need i did buy like a few things here and there of course but there are some little pieces that just bring back the nostalgia for me like all the memories of seeing my first daughter um in these pieces so it's really fun to go through them again but this is my pile of newborn i was able to just take it out of the tub have it already organized which is awesome um that's washed and then over here on the floor is my pile of like swaddle blankets um i have some baby wraps over there and receiving blankets basically just a whole bunch of like textile things like burp cloths um bibs and stuff like that so anyways i am going to get started while one other load is in the dryer right now look at all these tiny little baby socks and these these just like melt my heart into a puddle um but i wanted to show you what i picked up uh, just off amazon these are these like bamboo drawer dividers so i've already put some in the first drawer here as you can see so they just are like pressure mounted and they just go in like this and they're a way to like divide your drawers in the first nursery that i organized in novas i did like those canvas like cubes um just like from ikea and those worked pretty good but i wanted to give this a try this time because i feel like then i'm utilizing the whole drawer whereas those cubes like some of them only went like part of the way so we're gonna try this this time these will be linked down below i got this pack and then one other pack so i'm gonna figure out which drawers to put them in to separate clothes diapers blankets that sort of thing so you Shrugging your shoulders, I'm closed off That's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high Sunsets, remember the colors They were wrong, it was way more than a dream We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside It's alright, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Okay, so I think I've decided that I'm gonna do this drawer For like, all of the diapers and like 
diapering related stuff like creams lotion stuff like that because i feel like if baby's right here i can easily like have my left hand on baby and use my right hand to like grab the things you know th these are the things that i think about because i want my life to be as easy as possible <laughs> so i'll do diapers and stuff on this side and then this side i think i'll do the newborn clothes which is that little pile right there but just checking on my laundry here that i have going that always happens <laughs> looks like it's all dry and all done this if i didn't say already is all of the zero to three month clothes. I like to have those all clean, prepped and ready and in a drawer. I always like to have like the size that I'm using for baby and then the next size so that, cause they grow so fast, then you can like easily just be ready to transition to the next size. And then as like the months go on, I kind of keep that up. So I'll like take the size that we outgrew and put that kind of in a bin for storage, move the size up in a drawer and then replenish so it's just kind of like my system that i find works so that's why i have zero to three month clothing right now also have no idea how big this baby is going to be nova stayed in her newborn clothes for quite a while but who knows we might be using newborn for a shorter amount of time this time uh zero to three months might be used right away so we'll see Nova just woke up from her nap so if I let her in here these piles will not stay folded <laughs> so I'm gonna have to come back to this later okay before I put these tiny little newborn clothes away I thought I would show you how I like tend to fold my baby's clothes I don't know if this is helpful but maybe it will be to somebody by the way this is the very first baby item that I ever ever bought um, years and years ago near the beginning of our infertility journey so this one is super special Okay, so this is what I have figured out right now. It is subject to change, but uh, it looks just so cute and organized. Oh my goodness. This side I have short sleeve onesies goes up to like here and then long sleeve onesies in the back. And then beside them are all of the pants all the way. And then you can see the divider. I shimmied everything around because I just didn't know what was gonna fit and it might change, but I think this might work and then in this row is all of the sleepers it goes all the way back and then there's another divider and then here we have the little like newborn hats mittens socks and those booties so i'm not sure about this one i might have to get some kind of like little basket or something just to separate them but we will see um might work so i'm actually pretty happy with that drawer it's quite satisfying to look at and then before I get started on the next size clothing, I do have this little pack of diapers. We actually have not bought very many newborn diapers, like at all. <laughs> so we have to start stocking up on that because we all know that you go through a lot. I haven't looked at a newborn diaper in such a long time and they are so tiny. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. It's so small. <laughs> like, look at this thing. Oh my gosh. It's so crazy to me. If you're gonna have a baby that's tiny enough to fit these tiny little diapers, whereas my toddler's diapers are like <laughs> so much bigger. Why is it that holding newborn diapers makes it so much more real? Oh my gosh, so cute. <laughs> I think it's 
safe to say that I have more than enough clothes in this size. I just sorted everything so I have like little jackets and then things that'll hang up. Long sleeve onesies, short sleeve onesies, pants, sleepers, and then some like summery bits. Definitely a lot of clothes here, which does make me thankful that we're able to use these again. So I am going to put all of these away, either in the closet or in the drawer, probably this one. I will say though that Nova was in this size, zero to three months for such a long time. So I feel like that's why <laughs> there's so many. And then I also picked up like a few things for this baby girl um, so that she has, you know, like some new things that aren't like just Nova's hand-me-downs, if that makes sense. But for the most part, we are reusing like everything. Let me feel your love again. Cause I've been running round in circles, screaming out your name. Take me to a different place. Just the two of us and we can stay. So I'm down in our basement now, as you can see. This is like our storage area. We have lots of baby stuff down here. Lots of baby stuff. <laughs> we have breastfeeding pillows. We have baby baths, <laughs> whatever this is, rocker, seat thing, docatot, bassinet for the stroller. Got a baby swing over here. Pack and play boxes that have baby things in them boxes 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 all of these have baby things in them so not everything is like needed right away like for example the sit me up we don't have to bring that up right away i was just thinking about grabbing a few things and just having them in the nursery closet that way i can start like washing the covers washing like the padding on everything uh, because obviously it's been sitting in storage needs to be washed <laughs> so i'm thinking like the dock tot and then we'll probably use like things like this uh pretty quickly after she's born so that we can have lots of places to put her so that we can tend to the toddler if needed that sort of thing so that's what i'm gonna try to do right now and of course i'm not gonna lift and carry all of the heavy things. I'll just carry a few things that I can like manage and then I'll send Caleb for the rest. But I'm already getting super tired. I've been working hard today. So I might be almost done for the day. I'm I'm running out of fumes. So I'm basically just gonna take the cover off um, and wash both of those things and then store them away in the closet. But honestly, getting so, so tired. So I think I'm gonna call it a day. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> I'm so out of breath. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me as I kind of got some things done. It doesn't even look like I did anything because really it's all in the drawers, tucked away for no one to see. But you guys know, and I know that I got a lot done today. I'm gonna end it before you have to listen to me huffing and puffing any longer. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos because I'm gonna be doing a few more like get ready, nesty, postpartum prep, with those kinds of things here on this channel. So see you next time.